hi you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lainey if you are new here welcome so today I am going to attempt to do knotless braids my hair is freshly washed and conditioned and stretched if you guys are interested in seeing how i stretch my hair um, i will definitely link a video in the description below for you guys so i am going to go ahead and start off this style by pre-parting my hair which i feel like is an essential step um, to help the process um, not be as long and tedious as it already is <laughs> so I'm just going to start off by parting um, my hair going from the tip of my ear all the way across to the other side and then I am going to go ahead and part my hair down the middle just like so initially when I started this style I wanted my braids to be pretty small um but i started my braids like later on in the day so i knew like it would take for that style would take probably 12 hours or more i'm already a slow braider so for the medium size that i ended up doing it took me roughly seven hours to complete um i mean which isn't horrible because you know you're doing everything on your own so um here you guys can see me continuing to do the pre-parting process so i would part off a section and then do like a a loose twist and then continue with the same thing for the other sections So I ended up with five sections per side. Um, it all depends on how big or small you want your braids to be. But for a medium size, five sections is, um, is a good number to try to aim for. Moving on to the back of my head, another vital thing that you're going to need if you're gonna be braiding your hair on your own are two mirrors. So you guys see this um, big mirror that I have in front of me, and then there's also a mirror behind me. Um, and that is going to help you tremendously when doing this process, especially like I said, if you're braiding your hair on your own. So as you guys can see, I am parting my hair from the top part of my ear all the way across to the other side, trying to get my parts um, as straight as possible. I had to stop beating myself up about this process and just say, you know, just do the best you you can so if you're watching this video because you're trying to do your own DIY knotless braids do the best you can do not beat yourself up over this process just try your best and it'll it'll come out cute I promise <laughs> so now we're going to take that top section after putting the bottom section away in a little scrunchie and we're going to part that in half now we're gonna use the front sections that we did earlier. We're gonna use those parts as a guide to part the back of our head. So I hope my demonstration um, explains this process a little better than my explanation. <laughs> but once again, I'm using the parting on the front section of my head. I'm using that as a guide um, to part the back of my head that way I know that I'm going to have the same amount of braids on both sides of my head. I'm going to do the same process on the other side of my head of course and now we're moving on to the very bottom portion and i'm going to split that section in half just like so Once I get that part as straight as I can possibly get it, it is time to start the braiding process. So this is the braiding hair that I am using. 
I have used this braiding hair several times in several different videos. I will link my hair playlist in the description below for you guys so you can go check that out. But I really like this braiding hair. It does not tangle. I like the way it looks and I like the way it feels. So in other braiding videos, you guys have seen me use the Shining Jam and you also see me use the BTL um, braiding gel, which works really, really well. But I wanted to try something different browsing through the beauty supply store. So I picked up this braiding Shine Jello and this is how it looks on the inside. It's nice and thick and so far I have not gotten any flaking or anything like that all right so you guys see that i have my braiding hair section off and you can find that contraption on amazon or you can actually find it on your local beauty supply store as well so now to actually start the braid so i have parted off the section of my hair that i want to braid and now i'm going to put that uh, braiding shine jello on the perimeter of that section i'm going to start off with the braid and then I am going to start feeding in hair. Now it's been a little while since I've done like box braids or knotless braids in my hair. So I had to kind of get my footing, you know, get the feel of how I'm supposed to be positioning my hands and all of that good stuff. Um, so the first braid is always like the practice braid. Um, but after that, you know, you kind of get the feel of what you need to be doing. And like I said, how you should be positioning your hands or feeding in the hair. So um, once we get to the other braid, I'm going to show you guys the technique that I ended up using. Um, but for each braid, I fed in uh, five pieces of hair. And then once I fed in that last piece, then I repositioned my hands because obviously it's impossible to braid your hair all the way down with your hands positioned just like that. Um, so once you kind of feel like you can't go any further, then you reposition and you just continue to braid. Also, an important tip, especially if you have natural hair, is to use whatever um, product, whether it's the Shiny Jam or the Braiding Jello, to put that all throughout your hair as you're braiding. Um, that way, your braid can come out a lot smoother and sleeker, and your natural hair doesn't like show through the braid. All right, so we are continuing to move up. So I am on my third row here, and um, once again, I'm showing you guys that I'm putting that braiding shine jello on the perimeter of the braid and then i'm going to um, take that section and split it in three just like so and then this is what i um, started doing differently um, after i did the first braid so i am going to position my hands and i'm going to start the braid i'm stopping there and then i'm feeding in the hair like almost immediately so i don't even do a full braid um, before i start feeding in the hair so as I go down once after feeding in the hair, then I add an additional piece of hair. And I do that until I've added all five pieces of hair. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but my pointer finger is pretty much my guide. And that is how I um, feed in my hair. So I hope you guys can see here, I'm picking up a piece and then I'm putting it in between my pointer finger and my thumb. And then I, you know, do one braid and then I do the same thing. I pick up the piece of hair, put it under my pointer finger, in between my pointer finger and my thumb, and then I continue to braid. And as I said earlier, once I feel like I can't go down any further with my hands and my arms positioned the way that they were, then I reposition and continue to braid down.
All right, y'all, I have finished the last braid. I am relieved <laughs> that I am done. Um, as I stated earlier in the video, it took me roughly seven hours to complete. I did dip my hair in hot water and that definitely got rid of the stiffness that you guys saw there. And this is like three days later um, and I am really loving my braids. I feel like a whole new person, like I'm much sassier with long braids in my hair. <laughs> oh, I am loving it, you guys. My parts aren't perfect, but that's just me being meticulous. But overall, I think the style came out really, really nice. And I, once again, I really love it. I love my braids. <laughs> I think it came out really, really cute. I also wanted to show you guys while my hair is in a protective style i make sure that i am keeping up with my scalp care i also wanted to show you guys a few quick cute hairstyles that i enjoy while having these braids so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you did enjoy it make sure you give me a big thumbs up and even share it with a friend i love y'all and i will see y'all on the next one until then bye